Good morning, everyone. How's it going? It's a glorious day. Yes, it is. Today is Wednesday, March 10th. It's going to be a glorious day as ever because let's not forget with the sun rising this week, it's going to be a glorious week as ever. And I got a feeling today is going to be so glorious. You're going to want to go outside, have some fun, do whatever you want to do just to enjoy the sun and bask in the gloriousness as ever. So, yeah, it's going to be a glorious day today. Yep. <clears throat> So for today's poem video, the last one I did was number 85. For today's poem video, this is number 86. And for today, and for this morning on number 86, I've got five poems I'm going to try to read to you guys. Yes, five poems. That's right. You heard me correctly. Five poems I have in store for you all. So, yep. So today's poems are going to be real good. I've got, let's see, one of them is on an NXT UK um, superstar. We've got the other that's based on a TV show on AMC Plus, yep, and one of them is also based on someone I volunteer and work at at a program for those with, um, for those that are on the autism spectrum, so yes, yes. So, alright, let me get started reading these poems to you guys. We're going to start with the first one. The first one, the first poem is based on someone, the first one is based on NXT UK um, Superstar. She made her debut, I believe, last month, yep, coming to NXT UK, yep. She's been seen before, she's been seen in the Mae Young Classic Tournament, I believe in 2018, yep. And she's been seen all over the world, especially in Japan as ever. She was noticed in Japan as, well, as ever. And then she came to NXT UK when someone wanted to face her as a way of saying she wanted to face the best, so... She made her arrival to NXT UK and pretty much made a home for herself. Yep. Even had a shot at the NXT UK women's title. So, yep. For the first poem, this poem is based on NXT UK superstar, the Japanese legend herself, the female Japanese legend herself, Mako Satomura. And you all may know her because she has been seen in the Mae Young Classic Tournament before. Yep. And last month, she had a shot at the NXT UK Women's title. She was so close to defeating her opponent, yes, current champion, current NXT UK Women's champ, Kaylee Ray. Maker was so close to defeating her, but if you were Kaylee Ray, you'd do whatever it took to keep that title with you as ever, seeing how you wanted to face someone that was the best as ever. So, yeah. But I promise you this, the next time Mako faces, gets another shot at the title, I promise you once. The next time Mako gets a shot at the title, I can put her trying to get that title as ever and adding something to her career highlights, even on her resume as ever, and that's becoming NXT UK Women's Champ. So, yep. <coughs> so, alright, get ready. So, I read you the poem that is based on NXT UK superstar Mako Satomura. <coughs> Mako Satomura. I see a true Japanese legend coming to exist. She has fought in the rain besides her fist. The world has seen her grow the world has seen her grow with pride. Welcome to the fantastic journey ride. When you see her in the when you see her in the traditional robe, she is ready to compete throughout the globe. This woman has no absolute fear. You see her magnificent pride grow every year. Meko Satomura is the very best with fate. She arrives to open the journey's gate. Her eyes tell the truth in every fight. You are amazed by her performance in the night. Her journey has been a sweet masquerade. We love to see it never fade. Okay. Sorry about my nose, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. This is Mako Satomura, my friends. This is the woman that, this is the woman that made her debut on NXT UK la last month. Yes, coming to NXT UK. Yeah. This is the woman that made her debut last week on NXT. I mean last month on NXT UK. Coming from Japan and also being seen in the Mayon Classic Tournament. So yeah, this was uh yeah, this was a real good poem to write about her. Yep, yeah, I'm so glad I did as ever. So yeah. I'm showing the picture one last time. Hang on, hang on. Yep, this is her. Mako Satomura.
All right, my friends. Hold on a second. One minute. Sorry about that, my friends. Had to blow my nose, and plus, I'm trying to stay warm as ever. So yeah, yeah. All right. So for the next poem, number two, this this poem is based on a TV show that you don't see on AMC, but you will see on AMC Plus. That the streaming app for those, for um, it's a streaming app for shows that you've never seen before, but have seen on commercials, but have seen in commercials. Yeah. They're for shows you've seen that <clears throat> that don't show on AMC but do show on AMC Plus, a streaming app that you can um order just to watch your favorite shows that you love watching as ever, say like Riviera or um Quiz, yeah, or any famous British TV shows that you know of. Even like with Killing Eve or that show that that was also once seen on BBC America, known as A Discovery of Witches. So yeah, that show. So yes. So yeah, that show. So yeah, yeah. So this poem is based on a TV show that I've heard a lot about. And it's just, it kind of reminds you of the film, the 2002 film with Leonardo DiCaprio, uh, Daniel Day-Lewis and Cameron Diaz, known as Gangs of New York. Yeah, yeah. So the next one I'm about to read to you guys is called, this. it's based on the TV show on AMC+. Plus. This poem is called, is based on the show known as Gangs of London. So yes. <clears throat> Get ready as I read you this poem based on the TV show. Yep. The name of the poem based on the TV show is called Gangs of London. <clears throat> London's war zone has started to exist. You may notice a cut on the wrist. The front line has made things clear. You are heading into a war with fear. The eyes of no mercy will not fade. Watch them rise. From the shade. From the shade. Every fellow wants a shot at the throne while entering the bloody war zone. War zone. War zone. The streets will be flooded with cops who are ready to pull out the stops. This massacre will not be ignored. Blood will be shed like before. Judgment Day is upon us, my friends. Prepare for a direct fight to the end. Judgment Day is upon us, my friends. Prepare for a direct fight. A direct fight to the end. You have fueled the fire. Coming from a risen empire. Get ready for a bloody masquerade with a new sound. The time has come to stand your ground. Allow me to show you the picture of the cast of the characters from Gangs of New York. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, there we go. Yep, this is the cast characters from Gangs of New York. I'm oh wait, not oh not Gangs of New York. I mean Gangs of London. Why did I say Gangs of New York before? So sorry about that. Yeah, the cast from Gangs of London. I may know one of them or a few of them. Yeah, the one the second character I recognize him from Peaky Blinders, and the woman right there. I believe I've seen her before. She's been seen in um Game of Thrones and um. What's the other one? Uh, Resurrection. That was a TV show on ABC. Don't ask. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. And she's also been seen in the um the White Princess, I believe. Yeah, that TV show. Yeah. If the woman you're talking about that I've seen before, her name is Michelle Fairley. She's Irish. She's from Northern Ireland, and she's a famous and wonderful actress as ever. So yeah, that's the woman that's in this TV show known as Gangs of London. Yep. <laughs> <clears throat> yep, this yep, this is the character from Gangs of This is the character you see in the picture from Gangs of Gangs Gangs of London. Yep, Gangs of London. Alright, the next one I'm going to read, I would read five today, but you know what, I think I'll read three for now. I'll save the last two for, I'll save the next two for next time. So for right now, three we'll do for this morning, yeah. 
the, 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 all right, so let me tell you about this poem. The next poem I'm about to read you guys, which is, yeah, the third one, is based on someone I work at, at a program called um, Autism Family Connecticut, standing for AFC. Yep, yep. It's a program up in Newington. I remember going there to volunteer all the time. Yeah. Hold on a sec. Let me get myself situated. Yep. Give me one minute. Hang on a sec. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. It's a program I volunteered at. I started doing that in 2019 just to um give back to the autism special because it's done a lot for me ever since, yeah. Since I was growing up with autism, after not knowing at the time, to find out in my teenage years, and ever since, the autism special has done a lot for me. So I wanted to, wanted to give back by volunteering and also being a role model for those and the little fellows that also have autism in their lives as ever, as ever. I wanted to be the role model for them, someone to guide them through life and let them know what they're in store for when it comes to dealing with the real world, which they should definitely be aware of. So yeah. <coughs> And this woman I work at, this woman I work with, I work with her, I volunteer over there, and I work with her at AFC, and she is very phenomenal and amazing, yep. I work with her, including alongside with her daughter, um, Jackie, yep, and my dude, Ray, who I love seeing all the time very much, yep. But this woman is very amazing, yep. And the woman I work with, yep, her name is... Leah Moon, Leah Moon, yep, yep, she's the co-founder of, A, of AFC, Autism Family Connecticut, up in Newington, yep, in Newington, and she does a wonderful job organizing events and programs for those to um, welcome in fellows with autism that feel very left out, or even isolated, even, um, not only isolated, but um, abandoned and non-existent as ever, so yeah. So I figure I write a poem about her because she does a wonderful job when it comes to bringing new fellows in that feel very abandoned, alone, isolated, even non-existent as ever. Yeah, and it's nice to bring fellows in that feel very left out as ever. Yeah, yeah, yep. And she does a wonderful job doing that. Yeah, she even writes for little fellows with autism, even those in their teenage years, even those coming into adulthood. Like, we have events like such as Young adult hangout nights, yep, even teen teen um hangout nights, even children hangout nights as ever, yeah. And I hope that very soon when the AFC returns back, to, when we return how the way things were, I hope we get together again, have some fun stuff. I mean, that's the best part about AFC as ever, so. And I'm glad I'm with them as ever. They are the best thing that's ever happened as ever, especially this one who I'm about to read a poem about right now. So this poem is based on co-founder of AFC, Leah Moon, as I call this poem, AFC's True Moon. Mm -hmm. AFC's True Moon. Leah Moon has a wonderful smile that comes bright when you see a shining light. She's the reason AFC has a precious guide. You see a landscape with nothing to hide. She and her daughter, Jackie, had an idea to create. This one was found with fantastic fate. The landscape was founded with love, care, and kind. A woman you would picture in your sweet mind. Every autistic fellow is welcomed in with a surprise. As you see a magnificent journey coming to rise. Leah and Jackie are the reason AFC does exist. You notice the passion they created from their magic list. They are also the reason AFC was found, creating a tremendous common ground. I am proud to be volunteering with them very much, especially with Leah, who has to create a magic touch. She is wonderful and the best. AFC is her true home nest. Leah and Jackie are a mother and daughter tag are a mother and daughter tag team that starts something with a fascinating dream. 
A dedication to AFC's True Moon, Leah Moon. And this is the picture right here. Uh, here we go. This is the picture right here. You see Leah right behind her daughter Jackie sitting right there, sitting there. Yeah, and this is them. They are the reason the AFC is still rising as ever. Yep, yep. And if you don't know this, yeah, Leah has a grandson, Jackie's son, who also happens to be autistic too, named Jack. So yep, yep. This is why I this. This is the best thing, yeah, this is the wonderful poem I've ever, that I've ever written. This is the best thing I've ever done, yeah. And I'm so thrilled that I got to write about Leah as ever, yeah. She is very wonderful, amazing, and tremendous as ever. That's the best part about Leah, yeah. Yep. And if you don't know this, next month is Autism Awareness Month, so be aware for that, my friend. So be on the lookout for that, my friends, because that's why I love doing it every April, every year when aut when April arrives. Autism Awareness Month coming up, and you may have noticed that I also wear these, my Autism Speaks bracelet. I love these very much. They mean a lot to me as ever. Yep. Yep. Yep, I even carry a lot with me just to give some to those that would like one as ever. So, yeah, it means a lot to me very much. So, yep. So, there you have it, my friends. I was going to read five today, today, this morning, but I stuck with three. So, I saved the last two for next time. So, for right now, we are going to, yep. So, for right now, this was it for today's poem video. This was number 86. Yep, and I read three poems. First one was on NXT UK Superstar. Mako Satomura. Number two was based on a TV show on AMC Plus known as Gangs of London. And number three was based on a poem on someone that I work at AFC, Autism Families Connecticut, Leah Moon. Yep. And yep, that was about it. Yep. So that was the third poem based on Leah Moon, co founder of Autism Families Connecticut up in Newington. So yeah, this was wonderful and amazing. I'm thrilled I got to read these three poems for today, this morning. So yep. So, yeah, this was it for today's poem video, number 86. I will make another one. Number 87 will be on the way, so be on the lookout for that. So I say these words, my friends. Thank you for your time, my friends. Enjoy this glorious day. It's going to be real glorious. I know it's a little cold this morning, but it's going to be nice in the afternoon, so we will feel the warmth and everything. So enjoy it. Make it memorable. Enjoy the glorious week. Continue on with it. So thank you for your time, my friends. And I will see you. And I will see you. And I will see you all next time. Take care, my friends.